is how to fix the blue screen of death, also known as your device ran into a problem and it needs to restart. So to start off, my computer is currently not on the blue screen of death, so I'm going to search here, reset this PC. Click on that in the search menu of Windows. See here where it says advanced startup and press restart now. If you are unable to access your Windows screen, what you're going to need to do is on your PC itself, you need to press and hold the power button a bunch of times and wait for Windows to show up to come up with these options. It will eventually come up, you just might need to do it over 6 times or 10 times pressing on and off on the power button holding it down until this screen comes up where you gotta choose an option. Once it gives you these options to choose from, you're gonna go to troubleshoot and go to advanced options. The first thing is the startup repair. When you run it, it fixes all the system problems that could be preventing Windows from booting up. Windows scans your computer, see what's up with it, and then try to fix it. That's a startup repair on startup. And then we have uninstall updates. This uninstalled any updates and recent updates that might have caused Windows to start crashing because for whatever reason, like your PC computer won't accept some files, installed something earlier in the year and now it's messing up with the new stuff installed, whatever the case may be, it'll try to fix that violence on its own. And then for here, for startup settings is the one I'm going to actually do because this might be the main cause of your issue. I'm going to click on it and then press on restart. Once your computer restarts, it'll come up with a list of 1 to 9 numbers. All you got to worry about is pressing on number 5 on your keyboard. And now once Windows has gone into safe mode and your computer has successfully rebooted into safe mode, you might have installed a virus, you might have installed something recently that caused the issue. Whatever that case may be, go into your folders, go into your recent update, troubleshoot your computer in, in this safe mode, in Windows safe mode, update your drivers, uninstall anything that you think might have caused the issue, and once you've done everything that you can or have a clear idea of what might have caused your computer to mess up, you're going to go to your computer's power button, press and hold that until the computer restarts and it boots like your normal computer again without having any blue screen. Side note, if none of these options that I've explained worked, it might be an external issue. What I mean by that, you might want to look at your computer yourself or have a professional come and look at your computer itself to see if it might have been built incorrectly or some parts might not be in the same place, if any parts are overheating, anything like that. That is how to fix your device run into a problem that needs to restart.